What's going on? Back plugged in again with your boy the Prophet. And yeah, so so we got some news tonight. Um, of course, we had this big update. I'm real confused because they just added extra chapter to this point event. Like, um, but yeah, we, we got a lot of stuff to go over. I want to see. Just let me check and see if the co-op rate is. It is. It is. It's streamlined. Yo, this looks very nice, bro. Fusion trial. I mean, this looks very nice, you guys. This looks very nice. The UI. At least. So let's take a look. Massive amount of news. Uh, the update just went live. I'm. I might actually get get that pack today as well. Revamp pack. That was yesterday. All right. That was in here. Okay. That comes. Oh. Wait. Updated. What? You have made an adjustment to the design of the sword guard of zombie Tosh. Huh. Did you guys notice an issue with this sword guard? I didn't. I didn't notice anything. Uh, K Lab Evolution summons K Lab stations issue with 9.1. I don't even care about the, uh, inheritance on entry requirements being applied to raid. Transitioning from raid, raid quest preparation after opening the detailed screen of inheritance. Cause of uh, re entry requirements to be applied to the raid. Can, this issue can be resolved by opening the detail screen for a quest without rules such as frenzy intense of course what I didn't I didn't even understand the context of that I'm not even gonna lie to y'all let's get into this uh, event and sub story category events and sub -sto sub stories will now be divided by categories in the quest menu this will make it easier to check which quests are currently available and to easier to transition um, between quest difficulty by looking for uh, looking for all raids will now be available at all times some single player co-op quests will no longer be available. Those are those really old bad ones. When attempting to power up a character soul tree, you'll now be able to tap the icon for any items and characters you need to unlock. The see list of quests that this item can be acquired and transition directly to the quest. So quality of life, um, user interface change, get clearance history for chronicle quests. That is huge. That is absolutely massive. Um, order progress added to pop-ups progress towards completing orders and challenges orders will now be displayed in a pop-up icon that appears to the right of the screen that's good order complete pop-up timing and speed change we have made some changes to the speed and timing of pop-ups that appear on the right when a player completes an order I don't know what that means Quest order rules button. If any special rules apply to a quest, the word special rule will now appear on the quest banner. You can check special rules apply by tapping the special rules button. Epic raid value indicator positions adjusted to positions of damage values. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That means when you damage the boss, it was just showing the damage numbers right where the boss was. Instead, I'd imagine it's going to stagger it like up to the right or up to the left a bit. That's pretty good. Um, it was always a little bit that, yeah, that was definitely something that they needed to work on. I definitely agree with that. Um, FAQ added. An FAQ button has been added to contact us. Um, Contact us section of settings. The FAQ contains answers to commonly answered questions received by players. So check to see if anything you're unsure of in the game. But the FAQ is only available in English. So for a lot of you newer players, um, you may want to check that out. Um, fourth anniversary wallpaper did not current did, did not display currently on some OSs. The word OS is just looks so weird to me. Like it just threw off my whole thing. Um, ascension progress bar not displayed correctly when repeating ascending characters. When attempting to sort characters by resurrect and in inventory edit screens can't resurrect. Yes, that was so, that was so annoying. Like if there are new characters that you need to resurrect, 
most of the time when you search for resurrect and you put it on descending, it puts a character that you can resurrect, but you don't have their requirements met yet. But then it was somehow bugged so that no matter how it was sorted, unless a character was not resurrected, they'd be all the way at the bottom. So that was really annoying. Issue with co-op quest invite function whereby the character automatically selected for the player accepting invite joining a co-op quest was leader of their team in the last mission rather than their co-op quest top screen. We already knew about that. We identified an issue whereby the coin discount character power of guild function not being applied when uh, applying transcendence functions. Okay, we'll refund coins that should have been discounted to any players. Good. However, it will take some time to make the necessary calculations. All right, so that's pretty much it. So just the UI updates, um, the fact that they do see, uh, you know, that, that they did see, you know, that there were um, an error with that. Basically, that means that if you're part of a guild, um, you're supposed to get a discount of, off of certain things. And... Um, I guess, and it makes sense because transcendence, everything for transcendence was like regular price. Like it costed 10 million flat if you wanted to re to like um, redo a uh, your skill. But yeah, man. As far as the news, I I'm gonna just take a look at the. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and take a look at the um, at the quest screen and see what it's looking like. The co-op streamline quest looks so good. I mean, it looks really good. It's very simple. Landado. Huh. Okay. Let's figure out how to navigate this shit. Hold on. Events. So I guess this is still the same, but yeah, they literally added new events to this. Like that is a fact, but this is like kind of weird. Menu, gift box, orders. Like where? Quest, okay. Quest. Like, was I was I tripping? Do you you gotta be at the home screen to to get to the quest menu events? Like, I feel like everything is very very okay. Time limited quest. I feel like this might take a little bit of getting used to. I like that everything is separated. Damn, power up quests go crazy right now. Okay, so I was stupid. Pop the menu up. It's the same, basically. Just go to quest, but events, co-op, sub-story, story. I guess. I guess the thing that's changed are the events. So the events are the only thing that really changed. I mean, and obviously the whole raid. Let's look at this raid thing. Five star raids. What the fuck? Oh, okay. One four star really good if you tap on it what happens it tells you what characters it powers up okay and then we may as well go ahead and check um, a character that needs some this is pretty cool I mean really there's no excuse for not having um, for not having certain characters leveled up, you can just do it as time progresses. Yeah, hit the dialogue box. Wow, it brings a raid right up. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that, I mean, that's how you want it to be at the end of the day. Like, I can max out Tesla pretty quick because you know I haven't finished him but he's he's one of the newer units I got I just haven't had time trying to catch raid schedules man was like the most annoying thing so 
if they actually fix that problem, then damn, that's pretty exciting, guys. That's pretty exciting. I mean, this really opens up a world, the world for a lot of content creators. There are so many days where I couldn't test certain things because we didn't have certain raids available. Um, and this is good. And then now you, when you want to play co-op, you can actually get droplets from the droplet trials and not just, you know, get get certain freaking characters or whatever. But I think that's great, man. So you guys make sure you let me know what you think about the changes. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Profit Nation, I love y'all. See you next video. I'm out.